What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tweak called Tap to Unlock 7. Now you can probably guess what this tweak does, it's going to allow you to tap on your lock screen in order to unlock the device. So you can see right here, if we go to the lock screen, these are the default settings. You can see right here that we have a little border as well as a tap to unlock. So if we just tap on that, it's going to automatically unlock your device. So it's really as simple as that. But there are some options that you can uh, configure in the settings, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. But before we do that, I do want to uh, show you that basically... If you have a passcode enabled on this, this is Quick Pass. If you guys don't know, if you haven't seen my uh, review of that, it's basically allow you to quickly uh, turn on your passcode. So you can see right here, if we tap, it's going to prompt you to enter your passcode. So it's not really uh, that good if you have your passcode, but otherwise, tap to unlock is actually pretty cool. So if we tap on this, you can see we have our settings panel. You have enable. Or disable so you have your kill switch right there just a little toggle as well as a respring button so all changes are going to require a respring in order to take effect which is kind of a bummer but it's really not that big of a deal right down here we have the behavior so you can disable default unlock which basically I do where you saw I was trying to swipe but you can't do that if you have this toggled on if you toggle it off then you can go ahead and swipe to unlock it if you want to have that on down here you have tap anywhere to unlock which is actually pretty cool you don't have to tap on that little box the border actually disappears completely and it just says tap to unlock on the lock screen you can tap anywhere on the lock screen to unlock the device you can also toggle on hide chevron which is going to hide that little arrow right there that everybody knows and loves from ios 7 down here we have theming so you can actually use an image if you want to you can toggle that on and then you can uh, follow these instructions right here but i'm not really going to walk you through that on this video just because i don't think it's a huge uh, feature of this i mean some people might like it not something that i was really into now down here we have frame, so you can actually change the border, you can completely get rid of the border if you want to. You can change the width, the height, just like that. You can also change up the text so we can make it a little bit bigger. You can change it to custom text if you want to, if you toggle that on, and then you can just tap on change button slider text right here, and then you can uh, change it to whatever you want to. Now right down here you can change the hex color if you want to do that. You do have to know the six character hex string in order for this to work. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm not sure why this is, uh, I guess it was easier to implement than having you know like a color grid where you can uh, swipe your finger across or anything like that. And right down here we have opacity, so you can change up the opacity if you want it to be uh, lower or higher, then you can just slide this knob up and down just like that. So what I really want to show you here is the tap anywhere to unlock, so I think that's pretty cool. We can also change up the uh, text slider here. So we'll change this just to, we'll just change it to eye tweaks. And then once we respring our device, then we're going to be able to see those changes. So let's go ahead and respring. All right, so now that we've resprung, you can see right here that it doesn't have that tap to unlock. It's going to appear. It says I tweak, so we can tap, and it's going to automatically unlock our device if we didn't have our passcode enabled. So let's jump back in here, and you do actually have to toggle this on and off or on Quick Pass in order for that to work. But you can see right here, it says I tweaks. If we tap, it's going to automatically unlock the device. So it's really as simple as that. So if you're looking for a tweak that allows you to tap to unlock your device, then you definitely should check out Tap to Unlock 7. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.